Welcome back to the bench. We got a comment from Carlos. Uh, how is that? Carlos R O I G fifty three fifteen. He says that my MFJ tuner may have the knobs incorrectly installed or marked. Apparently, some MFJs made it so that uh, zero is minimum capacitance and in this case we can see that zero is maximum capacitance and again on the antenna side zero is fully meshed or maximum capacitance so by the way the uh the rusty icom is working pretty well we've made a couple of contacts tonight we have uh about s4 or s5 noise on 40 meters and uh I checked the RBN. There's nobody up around 7050, so we're going to do a couple of live antenna tests up there. And uh, I'll tell you what we found and sort of what led to all this next stuff. So the next thing is I wanted to make sure that the MFJ tuner manuals hadn't changed over time. So I have this one, which looks like it may be sort of... Uh, well, 2004, I guess, is version 3A, so that's pretty early. And then I went on the MFA website, and I found this one, which, let's see, maybe this is marked. That says uh, 97. <laughs> so neither is really new, but what it does do is confirm that uh, if you look at just this part of the tuner, it's called a T-match, so it has capacitors, on the in and the out and inductor to ground. So that's what we're dealing with is it's called a T-match. And then I tried to get out of the manual the best practices and uh, MFJ wasn't really <laughs> coming clean too much. And so I went online looking for a better source. And if you get a chance to go look at this, it's pretty cool. So this is by DJ0IP.DE, so he's in Germany. And he's got a whole section on tuning the T-Match network. And so I, I put this into a doc so that I could print it and uh, show you guys easier. But he has the, uh, the minimum and the maximum. So first he tells you to go learn about your tuner and find the position which gives you a good match with minimum inductance to get uh, the reduced loss and increasing amount of power transferred to the antenna. So he says for maximum efficiency, output capacitor antenna side should be as high as possible while still giving you a good match. And uh, then a warning that maximum capacitance is not always full scale. So don't guess. So in our case, maximum is fully meshed and that is zero on both these, like we said. So he's got a page that we're gonna try to follow here quickly and compare it to what I've been doing before. So he says short turn, tuning instructions is set transmitter to 75%. And I guess you'll agree if this is zero, that's 10. And this is 100, that's zero. That's a scale of 10. So if we go to two and a half, that should be 75%. And so here's my MFJ 969 settings. And then maximum capacitance on the output capacitor is zero. And maximum, uh, pardon me, minimum inductance is zero. So we will uh, go down to zero. And again, okay, there's zero. <clears throat> and again, I'll go back to the manual from the MFJ. Both of those both vintages, apparently, I don't know how new I would need to get to get the latest, but the roller inductor in the 969 has maximum inductance in the fully counterclockwise position or the highest number. So we just crank down to zero, which is the lowest number or the minimum inductance. And uh, Mr. I should have got his name but we will uh, refer to him by call, I guess. So DJ0IP says that uh, we need to start at 75% or two and a half, zero and zero, and then tune the combination of L and CN for the lowest SWR. 
So he says start with the inductor and get minimum there. So we're going to try that first. So we're at 7050, and I'll back up a little bit here. I think you can see most of that. Above all, you can see this pretty well, I guess. So we're at 7050. Um, I've already called QRL and done the right hygiene, looked on the RBN. I don't see anybody down there at 7050. They were all much lower. So we're going to use the MFJ's tune button and then you will see, well, let me get you down here. That's the most interesting bit. So there is, uh, pardon me, there is the meter. Sorry about that. All right, now we're going to key the transmitter. And I'm going to quickly start cranking until I get the minimum reflected power. And it, uh, we're, by the way, we're set the lowest power of this ICOM will go, which is just, just over five watts, I guess. So here I go up on the inductor. So that's 30, 40, 50. Oh, there's a dip. Oh, a minimal dip. Maybe I should start back there. He said the minimum inductance. So let's call that good. Now, so that's at 55. Now I'm going to try to get a dip. And I can't. And meanwhile, the finals are getting upset. All right, we're going to keep going. That's 90, 100. No, we're not doing very well. I'm going to stop keying before something bad happens. So I think we may try that again because it did work. Oh, all right. Well, somebody catch me and notice that I have flipped a bypass while I was tuning around. So... That was all for naught. So I'm going back to zero. And I'm not sure why I had that little dip when I was in bypass mode, but that must be some interaction of something inside the tuner, even though we were in bypass mode. All right, so that was a, a needless key down. So we're going over to the tuner, tuned side now on coax one, which is my 40 meter dipole. So we're back to zero and two and a half. And I'm going to key again. We should have much better luck this time. All right, now we're gonna go advance and you'll see the reflected power drop. Coming up soon, we're at 80, 90. Okay, you can see it coming down now at 107, 108, 110 is the drop. Then we'll tune the antenna input and then a bit of the antenna output. So we don't have zero yet. Oh, they're a little bit, a little bit less inductance. That's closer. All right, so there, that looks like about zero. So now we can look, I'll untune the transmitter. Now we have to look and see what we got to. So we got to, the objective was to have the antenna as fully meshed as possible. So that's still at zero. That's good news. And then uh, if we back up, you can see so we're at 110, and so the tuning for my dipole anyway, and I will write it down. So at 7050, I'm on antenna one. I've got transmitter of four. I've got antenna of 0.5, and I've got inductance of 110. And so, I'll show you the uh, old handwritten notes that were carelessly done. So 7050 before once, I had six and a half, five and 105, which would mean I had probably half of the output capacitance instead of all of it. So according to uh, our German friend, that would be way less efficient. And there's another day long back where it was seven and a half, six, 101. So again, I was output capacitance of about half instead of full. So apparently this is more efficient than what I've been doing in the past. And maybe that will help me get a little more signal on the air from my maybe 22, 23 foot, 40 meter dipole on the roof. So if you agree with any of that or you don't agree with it, give me a comment. But at least I have to thank Carlos for making me go find... Uh, again so you guys can find it 
DJ0IP.DE is an interesting site if you want to go learn about the T-Match. And that's what the VersaTuner is. So thanks for watching. That was interesting. I'm going to go redo all of my antenna <laughs> tuning. Because if you look up and down the chart here, my antenna side has always been in the sort of the five... Um, I guess here's one good one. Uh, on on, fifth, uh, what, uh, on 15 meters... I was uh, maximum capacitance on that one. The rest, and, and once on 10 meters. But uh, for the rest, I've been not doing as well as I should have, according to DJ Zero IP. So thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys find, and if you believe in this. Also, we used uh, DJ Zero IP's minimal method. So he's got short tuning instructions and long tuning instructions are full. And I haven't tried those yet, but they are basically the same where we start with the inductor etc so you guys can read through those and see what you think but i'm going to put the lid back on and make some notes of where maximum capacitance and maximum inductance are on this tuner and uh, we'll get back to doing other things so thanks for watching see ya